It is my responsibility to decorate for Halloween. Decorating is no joke. I take this very, very seriously. Watch as I transform this house from normal to spooky. You've never been able to do this, have you? I was just testing him. No, no, you didn't. You can figure that out. Just a test. Follow me. You know what? Let's turn off the light for maximum spookiness. That's better. Now where is it? Huh. Lights off, he must be done. Maximum spookiness achieved. You know, I keep telling him not to leave the attic open. Um, yeah, that's how like squirrels and stuff get in. One time, a uh, squirrel had to be in there for at least a year before we found it. It was very dead. Needless to say, we did have a great Halloween decoration for the year. Uh, it also scared away other squirrels, so. That's a plus, I guess. I just wish you wouldn't leave the attic open so much. All right, let's go. Ooh, that's a nice TV. Uh-oh, I'm allergic to the attic. That's the 
issue with Ian. See, he's calling me right now. He always complains about stuff. He's probably like, I didn't realize decorating for Halloween was so hard. I wish you'd just do it. It's not that hard. Just decorate. That's my biggest problem with Ian. He always complains. Always. Calling Jeremy. Attempt number 23. It's so hot up here. Come on, Jeremy. Hi, this is Jeremy. Please leave a message. <sighs> At the tone, please record your voice message. When you are finished recording, you may hang up or press pound for more options. Hey, Jeremy. Hey, hey, please, hey, please call back. Hey, 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 please, please. Please, please call back. I don't know where he is. All I know is that there's no decorations out. And why doesn't he say where he is? That's the 23rd message, and it's exactly the same as all other 22. Number one says he's like, oh, hey, you know, I'm over here. He's so weird. Ian's really upset about the whole attic thing. He's been trying to get me back for it. He has been getting me back for it. And my very existence is in danger right now. Oh, God. Hey, Jeremy, come help me in the garage. Jeremy, since you're such a know-it-all, why don't you help me fix the garage? Um... Sure, Ian, I'll help you fix the garage. Thank you. Nothing. Jeremy, all I need you to do is stand over there and make sure nothing blocks the sensor. Ready? See? Nothing is blocking the sensor. He's so weird. Oh no, no! No! Three, four... Ugh, vacation lock, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Ian, I need you to go to the pumpkin patch and get the biggest pumpkin you can. My mission was clear. This was not going to be an easy task and there would be many problems along the way. I know he's completely incapable. That's why I'm doing this. My mission had immediately hit a snag but I was there right away to solve the problem. Mm -hmm. 
The pumpkins were happy to see. Some pumpkins were pretty. Some pumpkins resembled my brother Jeremy. I had found the perfect pumpkin. My parents were proud of me for the first time. My mission was complete. Pumpkin I could find. Yes, I knew he was going to do that, and yes, we're still going to carve it. So, today is Halloween, and I am dressed as recycling mascot Totes McGoats. Totes McGoats, Totes McGoats, we recycle with Totes McGoats. So, I actually decided to get Ian a big pumpkin after he got the really tiny one. Turns out he really enjoys carving pumpkins. There's nothing quite like removing the guts and then cutting a cute face into a plant organ designed solely for reproduction. But anyway, we plan to have just a nice night of uh, trick-or-treating. There's a blue dinosaur over there, okay? You gotta show our dominance, You gotta okay? do your... Well, okay, come on. Is it dominance or is it mating season? Come on, come on. <laughs> Start walking. Did you just say that dominance is not mating? Yes. Yeah. Do a dance. <laughs> That's what birds do, so isn't that what dinosaurs do? Probably. Stand side by side. I'll sit. Go side by side. There it is. Oh, get it. Yep, it was me. <laughs> Yeah.